What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad Movie Review continuing with the anime horror series as we today we are going to be talking about Biohunter from 1995 and yes, Yoshiaki Kawairi does it again. This is written by him, different director this time but this film is written by him and this is a fantastic body horror sci-fi film so let's discuss this one. Today you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating and then I'm going to send you all home so let's do this. Roll it. So Biohunter from 1995 is an awesome sci-fi horror film. Our two lead characters, let's talk about story right away first, is our two lead characters are Koshigawa and Kamada, and they are scientists, biologists, and they are actually also biohunters as a side job. And what that means is they go out hunting people who are infected by the demon virus. So this movie takes place in a universe where there's a demon virus that infects the human DNA and slowly turns the humans into to monsters and these men are going out there and they're extinguishing basically like bio exorcists with a little bit of scientist background using you know all that stuff to combat these monsters and also Kamada who happens to be one who is infected or one of our protagonists he is infected so he has that ability to kind of hulk out and turn into a monster and help out so let's talk about some positives right away is key positive my favorite thing is this one is heavy heavy horror vibes in terms of all the anime horror that we've discussed on the channel so far this one is probably the heaviest with the body horror the gruesome effects the monster designs are off the charts and just expect a lot of stuff in this one we got like we got cannibalism we got heavy rape vibes we got tentacle penetration there is a lot of stuff in this film so be warned if you are not the faint of heart like I said this film is not for the faint of heart because there is a lot of gruesome stuff in this film but it's also hauntingly beautiful and that's kind of it's weird to describe it because like I said it's very gruesome it's it's very gory but it's also very beautiful to look at at the same time. So it's kind of weird, but I really do, like I said, enjoy the imagery, the cinematography, and also, like I said, the gory effects and our monster designs, all of that off the charts. I also like our lead characters, Koshigaiwa and Kamada. They have a great chemistry together. Also Sayaka, which is the uh, female character that ends up joining along with them on their journey. All three of them, the characters, have fantastic chemistry. Kamada is a really good one. Probably the central story and like lead, lead character, I would say, because his tussle with, you know, wanting to keep a hold of his humanity while also, you know, having that monster side of himself, that's something that he has to live with. And that's why he, the friends, they need his help. Help. And when he's able to transform and help them and do these things as the monster, but he also has to hold on to that human side of him as well. So there's also that struggle throughout the film. So like I say, Kamada is probably one of the most interesting characters who has the most character arc throughout the film. I also love the music in here. The music is just like, I don't know, it's got this flashy like, you know, detective feel to it, but also kind of like this Gundam feel to it. It's really cool. So like I said, the soundtrack, the music, really good and it definitely fits that. 90s vibe of this anime and one other key positive I want to talk about is because I recently talked about Demon City Shinjuku on the channel I'll have that rad movie review if you haven't seen it go back and check that one out or I'll have it in the link so you can check it out that one I had a problem with the third act the landing spot was not great and this film really like they knew how to do a third act this one was different like I said Kawairi the way he wrote this one it really builds and builds and builds and when you get to the third act the confrontation the fight sequences it's really off the charts and it really hits home and it also has character moments in it as well so I think by this time like you can tell going from the 80s and then we kind of jumped pretty far now because now we're into 95 but you can see how Kawairi's work has really progressed and how matured in terms of storytelling and the craft that he he works on. So let's talk about mixed and negatives because this wasn't a perfect movie. I did have a couple nitpicky negatives with it. One is that this is only an hour and five minutes. So it barely stretches the, the runtime of a cinema movie, a feature length film. It's an hour and five minutes and I wanted a bit more. I think this could have been an hour and 20 or an hour and 15. I would have pushed for 10 or 15 minutes more and that would have did a good service because that serves into my other negative is that they don't tell you where the demon virus actually comes from. I wanted 
wanted an actual origin or more stuff with that because we do have a voiceover in this film, which I think is fantastic. The Koshigawa uh, uh, voiceover is great. It's uh, Kamada's best friend. So it's really cool because you're seeing Kamada go through this stuff throughout the film and you have Koshigawa narrating the film. So it's, it's a really cool dynamic. But they don't tell you with the background of the demon virus, where it came from or its origin. So I, I wanted a little bit more of that lore to be filled into the story. So I think this film could have did better with a good 10 or 15 minutes extra in the runtime. There are also some scenes that are very dark. I understand that the night sequences, they want it to look very dreary, very dark, but there is some color issues in terms of the black. Like there are some scenes that I want, I wanted it to just be a little bit brighter. There are scenes where you can see during the daytime and you see the gore and you see a lot of the bloody effects, but there's certain scenes when we get into the middle portion of the film where it does like, you know, it gets kind of dark and it's a little bit hard to see, but still, like I said, a fantastic ride in an anime horror film that I highly recommend. This was another film that was a first time watch for me. I ended up watching it twice because I liked it so much. So that tells you right away that I highly recommend this film because like I said, I watched it once and then two days later, I watched it again right before this review because like I said, I enjoyed it that much. So let's talk about a rad rating for this bad boy and Biohunter from 1995 is going to get a very strong 9 out of 10. Like I said, my negatives with this film are just nitpicky negatives is that I wanted more lore stuff and I wanted it to be longer. I can deal with a sequel to this film. There could be a sequel or a prequel. Like I would watch more stuff in this universe. This is based off a comic book too, so I don't know if there's more comic book stuff that they went further with the comics, so I'll have to search that out because I'm pretty sure there is more to the story because I love the lead characters. I think they're fantastic. And in terms of the world they introduced me to with this film, I highly, highly would love to be immersed into other stories within this universe. And like I said, this is an anime horror film that totally blew me away because like I said, I love the gore effects. It went all for it. It's very gruesome and I love the creature designs. Thanks for sticking around with me all as we chatted Biohunter. Please let me know down in the comments section what do you think if you've seen this film? Are you a fan of this film? And if you haven't seen this film, you could currently stream it where I did watch it. I watched the English dub version on YouTube. It's free on YouTube. That's where you can watch this film. That's how I checked it out. So like I said, I, and what you heard from my glowing recommendations, you should definitely go check out this film. But be warned, like I said, if you're not into a lot of nudity and gruesome scenes and you know essay scenes and stuff like that, this might not be the movie for you but like I said if you're totally into that gruesome anime horror this is going to be right up your alley and definitely body horror as well but please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video but most importantly you all know what's up have a safe and happy day peace out